Hi, I am Dr. Martin Jungenberg, also known as Dr. Six on social media. I am an internationally trained plastic and reconstructive surgeon based in Toronto with satellite practices in Kuwait and Dubai. Today I'm going to talk about one of the most popular procedures in my practice, abdominoplasty, more commonly known as a tummy tuck. I will discuss several types of tummy tucks, lifts and the advantages of a drain-free tummy tuck. A tummy tuck is the removal of loose, excess skin, fat and some stretch marks and tightening of the underlying abdominal muscles. Liposuction is frequently combined with a tummy tuck to get rid of those pesky fat pockets in the abdomen and surrounding areas for a trimmer, more sculpted contour. Other procedures done at the same time may include breast augmentation and or a breast lift as a part of a full mommy makeover. Tummy tucks are often performed after pregnancy or significant weight loss to restore a smoother, flatter tummy and more defined waistline. We also perform tummy tucks on men, usually after significant weight loss. Men typically don't require abdominal muscles to be repaired, but often combine liposuction and other body contouring to the waist, flanks and back areas for optimal results. There are several types and approaches to a tummy tuck, including a mini tummy tuck, a traditional or an extent tummy tuck, a fleur-de-lis or a vertical tummy tuck, a drain-free tummy tuck, and other lifts and tucks that include circumferential tucks such as a body lift. A mini tummy tuck is for someone in excellent physical shape that has excess hanging skin and stubborn fat just below their belly button or a skin fall crease or a scar from a c-section. A mini tummy tuck only offers mini results, which is why it is a procedure reserved mostly to correct the c-section scar or a small tummy pouch. A full or traditional tummy tuck is used when large amount of excess fat and skin is removed from the top of the belly, above the belly button, below the belly button, and tightening of the abdominal muscles and includes repositioning of the belly button. The incision usually extends from hip to hip and another small incision is around the belly button. A traditional tummy tuck usually requires surgical drains which are used for at least one to two weeks after surgery. An extended tummy tuck is a traditional tummy tuck that requires a longer incision that extends beyond the hips to remove excess loose skin and fat from the abdominal region, the patient's sides, flanks or lap handles. The procedure also improves skin laxity at the flanks and the hip area. For a drain-free tummy tuck, we use refined suturing technique to avoid needing surgical drains at the incision sites. A drain-free tummy tuck provides patients with a faster recovery, less discomfort, lower and better concealed scars that is thinner than one found in a typical traditional tummy tuck. Actually, 95% of the tummy tucks performed at our clinic are drain-free tummy tucks. Other tucks or lifts include the circumferential lift or also known as the body lift. This is a procedure for someone who lost a massive amount of weight and is left with excess skin that extends all around the body. It is a much bigger surgery than a traditional tummy tuck and requires an incision that extends around the full circumference of the body. The excess fat and hanging skin, called the apron, is removed from, an, from the abdomen, sides, flanks and the back area, which can also provide some lift to the buttocks. This procedure is often combined with liposuction for a more defined result. To be considered a candidate for a tummy tuck, you must meet the following criteria. Be at a stable weight with a BMI below 30, be in a good health with a good immune system and good healing ability, be a non-smoker, and you must have realistic expectations as to what the procedure can do for your appearance. So how is a tummy tuck performed? At our clinic, the goal is to always minimize scarring in every cosmetic procedure we perform. So for tummy tucks, we customize each patient's scar so it is well hidden below their bikini line. We also use layer closure technique to reduce the size and visibility of scars. Depending on its complexity, the procedure can take between 60 minutes for a simple tummy tuck up to 5 hours if it's a circumferential body lift, which usually requires additional liposuction. The procedure is performed under general anesthesia. We also use advanced techniques and tools such as anesthetic blocks that not only help to keep you comfortable during surgery, but help to reduce pain after you wake up from your surgery and allow for faster recovery. So let me show you how it's done. The first step is to make a horizontal incision placed just within or above the pubic area, extending from side to side. If there is loose skin above the belly button, the surgeon makes another second incision around it. Next, we separate the skin and underlying tissue from the muscles up to the ribcage or the xiphoid, lift the skin and repair the underlying abdominal muscles. The upper abdominal skin is then pulled down with the excess skin being trimmed and the remaining skin being sutured together. A new opening for the belly button is created in the midline and anchored to the abdominal wall. 
the excess fat is then removed from the skin around the area and you opening is created to create an, um, an inny belly button. For a mini tummy tuck, we make a shorter incision placed as low as possible in the pubic area that can range from a few inches to the entire span of your abdomen. Through this incision, excess skin will be removed, which will eliminate some stretch marks and the bothersome C-section folds or scars. Liposuction may be used to further contour this area. The ideal candidate for mini tummy tuck has laxity and protrusion below the navel, which sometimes people refer to as the mommy pouch. After the surgery, gauze or other dressings may be applied to your abdomen. You may also be asked to wear a compression garment or an abdominal binder for at least one week to help reduce swelling as you heal. Most surgeons use dissolvable internal sutures, which won't need to be removed. If sutures are used on the surface of the skin, they should be removed within one to two weeks after surgery. Initial recovery or healing takes about two weeks. You will also be prescribed medication to manage pain and discomfort. There will be swelling, bruising, and tenderness around the incision sites, especially in your first few days. A full recovery usually takes four to six weeks before you can return to any strenuous activity or exercise. A mini tummy tuck can also take two to three weeks. Swelling can last up to three months, but it varies for different people. You won't see your full results until all the swelling in the abdominal area has gone down. Scars generally fade with time and become less noticeable. Your surgeon will give you instructions on how to care for your incisions to help minimize scarring and maximize healing. Tummy tucks have a 97% satisfaction rate or worth it rate. For more information on tummy tucks or other body procedures, check out our website or follow my Instagram at realdoctor 6 real DRSIX, and 6 surgery. Stay tuned for future videos including awake facelift, vertical facelift, neck lift, eyelid surgery and much much more. Thanks for watching, I'm Dr. Jugenberg, also known as Dr. 6 and we always keep it real.